Hi everyone, I'm Will from Wills Electrical Services, also known as the Midfield General. In tonight's episode, what I want to show you is my workbench, my fold away workbench. This is the McAllister one. I think they sell it at Screwfix and also B&Q. But there is also an identical brand that does it. I think they sell it at Costco, Keta. And I think it usually you can usually pick them up on a deal for about 40 quid and they go up to 60 quid. They're usually 50, 60 quid, so usually the price from. What I'll do is I'll give you a quick demonstration of how to put it together. It's so simple, I've just got to be careful of that crush old dars. Actually, sorry, it's like that. So yeah, basically, you just pick it up and that is it. And what there is, is a little hinge in the middle that you push in, and that goes in, and that is it. And that is well sturdy. It sits about 800 eye off the ground, and all that is beautiful. It is as sturdy as anything that I'll show you. I'll get on top of it. Yeah, look, it's sturdy as you like, mate. That ain't going nowhere. Yeah, and also what it comes with. Yeah, so basically you get these two bits with it, these two uh, clamps. I don't ever use it, to be honest. I've never really, I, I don't think I've ever tried to use them, but I'll quickly show you how you set them up. So basically you've got these two pins there. You put them down that end, so they go in the rail. They go like that. And then that, pull that trigger back. You've got to pull that trigger because then it releases it. There's a little clip. These two little things here fit in that bit there. It's self-explanatory when, when you see it up close. I'll try and put an image up. And that is it. And they're ready to clamp. And then what you've got is you've got these quick release things on the back that let you move it. I'll just grab a bit of trunk in and I'll show you. Yeah, so that's all ready to be cut or whatever you want. So remember, so how sturdy it is, you know, how well it grips. So make it up. Absolutely pucko, oh well up, you know, I really like it. It's really sturdy, you know, considering the size of it, you know what I mean? You, it ain't gonna be, you know, I'd probably say it's probably a little bit, probably more sturdy than most tabletops, you know, for uh, chop saws, I've had chop saws on it as well. I'll just take this bit of trunk enough and I'll show you enough about how you can use it, yeah? yeah another way you can uh, use these vices is that when they've got these little uh, bits in there, I always thought they were handles, you know, and then that, then that goes in there like that, and then you use it as more like a traditional. Yeah? Then you could obviously use it that way as well, which, no, it's okay, it's probably full wood and all that, I suppose. So obviously you get it set square. Mark it all up. Oi, 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 village. Yeah, I've only got my small one on there. And yeah, ready, jigsaw, skill saw. Right, so what I'll do is I'll quickly give you a demonstration of how to put these clamps in. So basically, what you've got is you've got these pins here they go in that little groove there see that little slot bit there they go in like that and then see this bit here that goes in like that you have, i think you have to squeeze the yeah you have to squeeze the trigger just so it, it clears it enough see that mechanism so then that pushes through into there so that goes into like that and down and pull the trigger in that drops in and then that locks it in and that's how it works. That's pretty cool, isn't it? I like that. Yeah, then you can squeeze it in. It does have a quick release on the back there as well. You know, so when it's in, it's quite nice. I, as I say, I've, I've never really used these. And like, uh, obviously, you, normally this will be spotless, but uh, we've had quite a few first fixes. I'll show you what I mainly use it for, really, is I use it for a... Uh, a bench for a bit of testing so if we're doing commercial testing and all that because they, they these stay here all the time i never use them you know what i mean because it's where it's so sturdy if i was cutting it i'd hold it anyway it's just more it's you know let's have it right before i had this you know the 20 years before that i was doing it on a cable drum so 
Yeah, and I'll quickly just show you underneath. So obviously these vices sit in there, but I, I never keep them in there. And this is with a handle. So you pull that out, see that lock button there? That literally swings around. So once you once you engage that back in, so you pull the handle today and push it, that is it. And that is locked into place. This is uh this is really dirty. I don't know why this is so dirty. I'll I'll jet wash it down at the weekend, I think. And get that all nice and sorted. But yeah, it's only dust from a, a few a few jobs. But yeah, what I tend to do is use it for commercial testing. Just you get your old uh, hop up, sit that as a chair, and then that as a bench is perfect. It's absolutely perfect. It's nice and all. I've seen quite a few people where they have two, and then they just get a bit of wood between the two of them. It's you know I'm so impressed with them, and I know everyone who's got one, you know. Are, are the same as well so you have to pull that trigger out pull that out and then that pulls that bit there out yeah do the same with that one i'm still not going to use them i'm still always co comfortable enough just to use my uh just to use my um, weight to hold whatever i'm cutting down so anyway right i'll bring you up to the top and uh we draw it to a close yeah, so what I'll do is I'll just quickly uh, show you how to take it apart and then uh, and then I think we're done with it, I think. So, yeah, all I tend to do is put it aside, drop it between the, get it close, and then you just push these bits in, and then just do that. Yeah, and then it just goes flat. When I'm walking around with it, that's one of the problems because it's getting a bit old, is that I always have the legs away from me. And when I store it in the van, I always put it against the rack like that. So obviously the legs don't catch in the materials as I'm putting it in, so it's protected. It's always in the van. It's an ideal, absolute knicker drop a bit at all, that is. Anyway, another quick little video. Hope you've enjoyed it. And I hope you have a nice week. And uh, if you're going to be anything to be electric, up the old blues. It is chilly on the old willy. Oh yeah.